going to apply a second coat of RS Stone Fine, and this is the container that has the liquid mixed in it. So my first coat is dry. This one had no had the liquid poured off. If you watch the other video, this one had the liquid mixed into it. Made it more runny, and I left some holidays. So you can make any pattern you would like with this. You can make it real old world and textural, or you can pull it very tight, like if you're doing a contemporary thing that you're eventually gonna make look like concrete. And the beauty of this is it doesn't take any effort. To trowel. And I like to let this sit a while and then come back and smooth it out. If I was using a lime plaster like Monterino, I'd let it sit and I would use pressure to physically compress it. I don't have to do that with this. I can, you'll see later, I can just sort of smooth it out after it sets up. All right. I'm now going to take and spray some activator on here and mix it in and you'll see that I'm able to remove it in some areas if you want to make like a distressed plaster. This right here is RS activator. Now, I don't know if you can see this sometimes there's little mm -hmm. floaties in the bottle. Those hurt nothing. They oftentimes have that, and I've been assured by the manufacturer, no problemo. So, I've put RS Activator in this spray bottle, and I'm gonna spray it on. If I get my sprayer to work. Oh, it would help if I turn it on. <laughs> Okay, so I just sprayed a little bit there. You're saying, I can't see anything, Mike. Well, look at that. I just mix it in and you can see the texture it's making. I don't need any physical strength to do this. This is not breaking my arm. And you can see, well, I don't know if the camera picks mm -hmm. up, but it sort of irons it down, sort of flat. This is really unique to the RS product. So wherever your artistic desires take you, you can accomplish. And if you look closely, I'm doing this zigzaggy kind of ironing thing, and I'm making these little holes here with the activator, much like you would see in some concrete. It's, I think it's pretty neat. If you look back down here, we have some little uh, air pockets, but I haven't activated this yet. You can see the difference from the stuff that's been activated to the stuff that hasn't. I'm gonna take my trowel before I activate it and just run over it so you can see what happens. The activator's mixing in that was on my trowel, and you see what's, what's happening there, and I'm just jitterbugging up and down. You can make designs with it. I could trowel back through it like that if I want. If I don't like it, I could add more RS stone to it. I can even add more RS stone to this after it's dry or I can do it while it's wet. Now, the activator sometimes acts like a retarder. It makes it dry much slower. So if you look here, you see these little air bubbles. I let those rest a while. I'm gonna clean my trowel. It's just, I'm cleaning it with water. And I'm just gonna iron those out. And periodically I'll look back to see if there's any more of those bubbles, but it makes a really cool effect. If I wanted to build this up real thick, I'd be better off letting it dry and then add on top of it. But 
just to show you right now, you, you can see it's been activated. So let me put some more unactivated stuff in. It still should end up mixing and you'll see what kind of cool stuff it does. So the thing I like about this is, to me, this has a, a marmorino you look to it without the physical pressure being applied to it. And I'm, this is extremely subtle. I have some slight imperfections in there. So on the camera, you might be like, well, what the heck is the purpose of that? But I think it makes for some really neat subtleties. It's as though you were trying to make it perfect, but it's impossible. There's some areas that are just aren't perfect. And in a big area, this small area of interest sometimes is better than just a bunch of busyness. So I'll show you again down here. I'm gonna put some more on there, spray on some activator and have it get a little crazier than this. Got my activator, it doesn't need much. Two spritzes. That right there, I could leave it just like that where it has that little bit of texture, which is kind of cool. Or I could just get crazy, really mix it in. The more I mix it in, can you see how it, it's starting to get thicker here? And then see, it gets where it like wants to fall away. I'm making chunks. Oftentimes, if you're doing something where you want it to look like the plaster is falling away, you could do this step over some artwork or something and have it be like it was plastered over the artwork. And these are pieces of plaster that stayed on the wall where the rest gives away. Really neat product, just takes a little bit of playing with. So I'm really at a high angle pulling it here now. And you can see I've made some pretty heavy texture there. I'm gonna spray a little more activator on there. Got some more uh, RS stone right here. There's no activator in it. I'm gonna work it into the activator. Obviously you can see it really reacts crazy there and I'm getting quite a build. You, I wouldn't personally want this everywhere on the wall, but in some places it's kind of cool and it doesn't take a whole lot of physical strength to make this happen. So those of you with arms that aren't muscular like myself, this product is awesome. And you can see I jump the trowel like this and look, I can make the plaster sort of fall off. So it's an old wall that's deteriorating down here. But up here, the wall doesn't have any water damage. I want it nice and smooth, right? So if I do this, I have it all crazy down here like it's deteriorating. Come up here and I won't really be using any activator up here. So those of you that have proud traditional plaster will find this a lot easier. It takes much less effort. Okay, so my wall's pretty smooth here and it's damaged here. There's no end to what you can do with this RS stone. I like to use it to make it look like real lime plaster. And then when it dries, I like to color wash it. We'll have to make another video about that. I hope this helps you, Faux Effects.
gurus out there.